Okay, so welcome back to Stardew. So I've had to record this six times. And it's been non-stop tragically bad circumstance that has forced me to do so. But hopefully this time it will get done. So basically, first couple times I tried to do this had tons of issues with like getting it recorded because shit was just too loud or because like I just was too tired and I was a stuttering mess all this other shit. And then last night I recorded this and I lost all of the footage because for some reason I'm guessing the heat the entire capture lagged and it was skipping frames and it was doing all sorts of stupid nonsense that just didn't really should have been doing and it was miserable and I was like yeah this is unuploadable so then I was like fuck it I guess I'll do it again and again and again but you know what? I have faith this time will be the successful recording session because optimism is the only thing keeping me from driving like a nail through my ear. I don't know. Really, cat, you you walk in front of me like this. You tremendous. Do oh God, you! I'm angrier than I can put into words. That cat knew. And there's a pumpkin back there that I didn't water. There's a pumpkin I didn't water. Ah. Uh, well, he's really. Okay, the cat's doing it on purpose now. The cat is doing it on purpose. We can confirm. There is no way that was not purposeful. There we go. All that to our one pumpkin. Okay. So, we have to go into the mines. We have to kill some Skelemans. And I'm trying to think what else we have to do. We really don't have much to do. We're just mostly waiting on the crop to... Uh... Okay, I deposit a cough real fast. So, yeah, I'm just like, no, let's get all the stuff we need to do done. I'm, I'm going to take some of these uh, blackberries. And so we're going to have a ton of money come in soon. Because once the pumpkins are ready for harvest, that's going to give us like 8,000 at least. Probably closer to 10k if we get some like good quality uh, pumpkins. But um, the other issue that we face is we need to actually get the dwarf scrolls. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, what is the best method to doing so, because where we're going, there's a chance we'll get the third scroll, which is the green one. But there is also a chance by tilling on any of, basically any floor, that you can actually get the first scroll. And I'm pretty sure it's technically the only way to get it. I mean, you can get from, like, a uh, Omni Geode and stuff, but as far as I'm aware, the only active way to get that door scroll is to till for it. Unless it's a monster drop, but I feel like I would know if it was. Okay, so let's go back to the mines. Uh, yes, mines. Okay, I, I paused real fast and then unpaused because I didn't see, like, something happening. I, it was It's hard to describe, but... Let's go into the mines. So we need to kill a ton of skeletons because we need 100 bone fragments. Well, there's one. So, the last couple times I, re I recorded this, I had terrible RNG with this. Like, I could not, and it looks like I'm maintaining that. I could not get the bone fragments, no matter what I was doing. I it just tried so hard to find them, but... I was either getting really low amounts of them when they did drop, or they just weren't dropping at all, or skeletons weren't spawning in. There's, like, tons and tons of problems I've been having. But the absolute best way to grind this out is just to go in here over and over and over and just kill as many skeletons as I can. Unfortunately, I'm thinking, yeah, none of them spawned in. Let's try and get away from this bat. Because I don't feel like fighting him. I should be able to get away from him. Yeah, I can. There we go. And, uh... The Google Translate video, weirdly enough, has picked up steam. Um, it was... I, I want to talk about this. It was, like, doing really badly. I did change one thing in the, uh, the title. I changed immediately to easily, just because I figured, like, I, well, I did the last one as easily, and it did better, so... I don't know, maybe YouTube search engine was like, oh, repetition, my favorite. I really dislike the YouTube search engine. I, I don't like the way that it just rewards repetitive behavior. It's like, you, do the same content titles and thumbnails over and over. It's like, isn't that repetitive and annoying? Yes! Yes, it is. You, you gotta die, chief. Come on. Okay, we got a good amount of bones. That's, that's not bad. Seven's fine. 
most of the time you only end up having like 20 by the end of the day anyway, so if we can get more than that, that would be very, very good. Yeah, this slime's got to die. Jade, I will take... Do I actually... Have I put them... I haven't put that in the museum. Good, okay. That's fantastic. And there's a bunch of skeletons here. Let's kill them. Oh, we got the, uh... The thing for the museum. Okay, so that's like two things. We should probably go back to the museum soon and, uh... Deposit these before days end and I forget. Because God knows I will forget if I'm not, you know... This is not where I wanted to go. That's also not where I wanted to go. I, I really dislike that that menu shuffles around. It's so inconsistent. So one time the thing you're going to is on top, next time it's at the bottom. It's like, I feel like you guys could just made this a slightly more efficient menu, but... Oh, I also didn't have a frozen tear. Okay. We have nowhere near enough artifacts for what we need. Nowhere near enough. Oh, dear God. Okay. Go down into the... Actually, you know what? Oh, no, that's right. It doesn't open yet. It doesn't open until 2. I was going to say, it's like, oh, I should go to the Adventurer's Guild and sell off this bone sword, but no. You got to die, Chief. Okay, there we go. Um, Smash this. Ow! Hey, Omni Geode. I'll take that. So, I'm tempted to start cracking open our Omni Geodes only because of the fact that, like, they could have stuff in them for the museum. But I'd like to push that off until I feel like I have to, like, uh, absolutely have to. I'm really, really worried about, like, wasting those. Because you gotta understand, once we get access to, the de like, uh, the desert, we totally can trade those in. Like, they have value. They're not just, like, stuff you can smash open. Like, you can inherently trade these for, like, various things in, uh, the desert, like, merchant, so. And there's, like, some really good stuff in there from time to time. Like, you can get dwarf scrolls from there. You can get, like artifacts and stuff like there's a lot of shit you can get and i mean trading something that is not like a guaranteed resource you know what i mean like something that like you're playing the lottery when you break open an omni geode because you could just as easily get like a rare like artifact piece or you could get say a rock and it's not worth trading that when you could just go to the merchant and just be like Oh yeah, I'd like to directly trade for this thing I know I'm going to need, as opposed to, like, potentially something that I could need, you know? And, like, if you've got most of the museum done, obviously, yes, you should. Okay, I don't know why that just flew, that was weird. Like, obviously, yes, at that point, you should probably just, like, start cracking these open. But, at the same time, if it's early game, you really shouldn't be. Like, the only reason I was cracking them open before was because we so desperately needed the money. Which, to be fair, we did. We absolutely, like, uh, absolutely need the money for stuff. I am not sleeping well at all lately. I, I cannot, I cannot make words anymore. I'm losing my mind. Uh, okay, there's an air skeleton. So let's go kill him. And um, despite the view pickup so far with the, uh, I mean, I haven't checked it since, like, uh, earlier today, but. I don't know if I'll be doing, like, the next Google Translate video earlier, just because it's, like, doing okay. Because the thing is, the likes still haven't increased, it's just been the views, which is, like, you know. Give me this diamond. Okay, why'd that take so long to break? Holy shit. You gotta stop. Bat, you're getting on my last nerve. Scale man, please die. There we go. There, bone fragment. So we got 25 on the first day and we're not even done. That's actually really good RNG. Like, I'm surprised we don't usually get RNG this good with this. And I should know because I've recorded this six times. So, I mean, this is the seventh time I've recorded this. So I know the RNG by now and it's not usually this good. Okay, so we got 28. Keep you not. There we go. You gotta die, Chief. I need your bones. I gotta sell your bones to a weird man who looks like he owns a plantation. I have many questions about Stardew Valley's residents, but we're just gonna leave it at that. And, uh, th there's some other stuff I have planned, though, like, as for, like, content and stuff. I plan to put the first COD Mobile video up at some point early September. 
And uh, speaking of COD, I guess I should talk about Camper Dorfare 3. I'm going to do Camper Dorfare 3 when it comes out, but I'm going to do it as a compilation. I'm not doing another full playthrough of that. Like, it's just, it's not worth my time. And it's certainly not worth the pain that I endured. Because the thing was, like, I had to edit that twice to do the compilation, which kind of just led to agonizing pain because it was just, like, reliving all of the moments that just drove me to, like, Literal insanity. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that bone, by the way. Very confused on that. Yeah, well, we broke a, uh, one of the monster slaying records. That's nice. Okay, so we got 32 bones. We're still doing good for time. Because, I mean, we can go to, like, 11, so that's fantastic. There's another bone fragment. Wait, did, did I? Oh, it didn't. Good. I can give that. Uh, I should probably go and... Go to the Adventurer's Guild soon, I'm thinking, because I don't want to close, because I do want to retrieve my items. Yeah, that's just too much work to get down there. I have to bash through, like, five rocks. That's not... Definitely not worth the time. Okay. Let's go to town. And this is not where I meant to go. God damn it, I'm dumb. I, for some reason, thought the Adventurer's Guild was in town, because, of course, I did. Okay, so... Let's go in here, sell the shit we don't need. You. Uh, sell off. Scroll all the way down. That's good money. Item recovery service, let's take back our coal because the diamond's nice, but honestly we need the coal more. Because the coal's just a valuable, valuable resource that we just cannot do without. And, I mean, if it was a lower amount of coal, I probably wouldn't go for it. But that's, like, over 50 coal. I can't afford to lose that. Like, that's very, very valuable. Wasting that would be very stupid of me. Okay. Skeleton, you gotta die. I need your bones. I need your bones. Give me your bones. Oh. And thus the RNG starts to turn shitty again. We got 36 bones on day one. That's not bad. I think we'll only go this video until I get this done. Um, in the next video, I think I'll go until uh, until we're ready to do the Stardew Valley Fair. But I just want to get like this done because otherwise, like it's on a timer. So I also found out randomly, like with some luck, these purple crystals can drop refined quartz, which I was not aware of. And I don't know how rare it is, because I've only seen it happen once across, like, six different recording sessions of this. But it was... it happened. I watched it happen. I was like, I did not know that could happen, but very happy about it. Yes, yeah, so we got 37. If we could get 50 by the time we're done, that would be fantastic, So that would be half of it done in a single day. Well, if I keep getting RNG like that, it'll happen pretty quick. <laughs> Three bone fragments from a single skeleton. I'll take that. We got two in-game hours left. Honestly, we could probably go as late as like midnight, but I don't know if I trust it. I don't know if I trust our cat not to try and sabotage and kill me. I've had very good luck on this floor. Okay, um. That's nice. Frozen geode. I'll take that. Die, please. One bone, okay, well. I, I suppose I'm owed a little bit of bad RNG considering the amount of good RNG I had not too long ago. Okay, so I hope that didn't show up on the audio, but my doorbell rang, and the amount of time that took up is probably going to cost me this recording session. I pray to God that didn't happen. Also, I hope the doorbell didn't show up in the audio, but if it did, I'm scrapping the session. Great. I fucking hate living here so much. I, I'm, like, going to try and find a way out of my lease as fast as possible, because holy fucking shit, this place was sold under false pretenses. Worst place I've ever lived. Easily. Just horrible. Ugh. It's so awful living here. Like, I, I literally can't even sleep at night because my neighbors cross sleep blare their fucking music, and got all these other neighbors who are assholes, and tons of shit that just doesn't... Nothing about this place is what it was sold as. I was like, oh yeah, I need a place that's quiet with good internet. Great. Here's a construction site. Like, fucking Christ. My life is a mess. 
Ugh. Okay. Do not. Please, Chief, I need bones. I really hope I didn't lose this whole fucking thing, because I swear to God, like, this is the best RNG I've ever seen. Oh, Christ. And, um, I can't remember what I was talking about before the whole fucking stupid shit went down. I think I was talking about the new COD release, but I, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, it sounds very open world, and I've talked at great length about how I dislike open world games. Um, I think they're lazy, I think they're poorly designed, and I have a video coming out that I'm going to talk about open world games and why I dislike them, but needless to say, I have some very, very reasonable issues with open world. Um, bus stop, yes, I was trying to remember. Man, it'd be convenient if they just put a minecart, like, right behind your house. Would've been so nice. Well, at least I have a lot of stuff to give Gunter tomorrow. Also, I think it's gonna rain in-game tomorrow? Let me check. Uh, yep, storm. So we won't have to do any work tomorrow. Other than, obviously, scale man hunting. Okay. Keep walking. Uh, sadly, no more rain, although the house is finished. That's good. There's my coal. I love it. Be more careful next time. Yes, I'll, I'll try to account for the fact that this game gives me absolutely no fucking HP stat. And I have angered the Stardew Valley gods with that sentiment. I'm sorry. Anytime I criticize this game, lightning cracks. And I feel highly intimidated. Well, at least now I can do this, which I was waiting to do for a long fucking time, but I didn't have any coal left, so it was kind of impossible. Uh, right, so we have to go give this stuff to the museum. And considering how, I mean, considering how much we're going to have to walk for that, I'm just going to eat these, get my stamina back. And, uh, so yeah, the second of those pumpkins harvest, we're going to have a lot of money to burn, like, I think at least 8,000, depending on, it might be a little bit lower, but it should be about 8,000, depending on, like, what kind of luck I have, um, how many gold tier and silver tier I get, although something tells me I'm mostly gonna get, uh, standard tier pumpkins, which would kind of suck, but it's unfortunately very RNG dependent, we've had really bad crop RNG this whole game, like, our crop RNG has been terrible, the fact that we still don't have gold corn enough to complete that, like, to complete the, uh, community center is really bad. Our community center luck's been good overall, but crop luck has been just garbage. Just absolutely trash. Come on. Open up. Let me in! Let me in! There we go. All I had to do was go full Eric Andre. There's a diamond. Starfruit seeds, which I will store until summer. Starfruit's good, but it's not really it's not really optimal because you can't get year one except from this, so at least I don't think you can. I know starfruits are quite valuable from my memory. Okay, do that. And we will go down and the fly got in here when I opened the door. Son of a bitch. I can't escape this fly! No matter what I do, it just follows me everywhere. I fucking hate this thing, man. Come on, tell me there's at least one more Skeleton Man up here that I can kill. Yes! Oh, there's two of you! Please both have bones. Well, I mean, you have bones because you're skeletons, but I mean like actual bones that I can use. Probably should have been more specific about that. Okay, um, let's go up, and let's go and do this, smash, smish, okay, and uh, 
no, no Skelmans. I'm gonna kill these because they might have stuff in them, though. At the very least, they had coal, which is good, but sometimes they can have even rare gems. I actually found that out, and I was like, wow, that's kind of insane that they gave such a worthless enemy a good loot pool. Like, you don't really see that. I mean, not that I'm against it, per se, but it seems a little bit unbalanced. I mean, I guess the odds are so incredibly low. It's like 0.1% or something per every thing it could drop. It's not good odds. Come here. There we go. Okay, so we got 60 out of 100. There's probably no chance we're getting all of it done today, I'm thinking, because the odds are not in my favor. Oh, boy. I had to pause because my trash fucking neighbor was being loudest. Oh, God. I hate these neighbors so much. Come on, go back up. Gotta refresh the floor. The endless cycle of me just trying to get skeletons to kill for their bones. You know, it's kind of fucked up. These skeletons didn't do anything to me, but look, there's money to be had. There's like $3,500 on the line here. I need that cash. I need it. Alright. Oh, fuck's sake. Why is there always spilling rocks in the way? Why? Every time. Every time I refresh the floor, there's like more rocks somehow. Okay, you gotta die. So yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the new COD when it comes out. I'm hoping they learn their lesson from the last one. Not every single enemy in the game has armor. Because holy shit, that was the worst thing ever. Like, that was actually so AIDS. And then they had, like, that one mission. Oh, God, what was the name of it? Where you had, like... The, it was, like, the ghillie suit mission. But it was so long and so tedious. And it was just entirely open world. Like, and there was nothing to do. It was just open space with nothing. It was... Just, oh, God, it was so bad. I feel like everything about that game was just terrible. It's like, the plot was stupid. The gameplay was bad. There was nothing good about it. I should also talk about my opinions of the, uh, the reveal. It's cool and all that, like, it's funny, because on one hand, I feel like it's kind of awesome that they're like, oh yeah, we're just gonna bring back all the maps from Modern Warfare 2 and save all the new maps for post-launch so if people don't want to play them, they can avoid it. Like, that's nice. It also is nice they brought map voting back, which kind of implies either drastically toned down skill-based matchmaking or none. That said, knowing Activision, they probably just went out of their way to make something to, like, force skill-based matchmaking without seeming like they have it. I mean, we'll see if there's any SBMM bullshit when the game comes out. But, I mean, they also bumped the health back up to 150, which is, like, that was always a good thing. That was the best thing Black Ops 4 did, honestly. Uh, what is that? Is that gold? Yeah, it's gold. I'll drop it if I find something better, but... That was something I honestly thought Black Ops 4 did so well, was, like, the increased health was just so much better because it punished camping so much. Like, it really does seem like this new game is trying so hard to just fix a lot of the problems that the franchise has fallen into. And I kind of wonder if it's because they know that X-Defiant's gonna kill them if they don't. That said, I'm pretty confident, I can't remember if it was in the reveal or not, but if the game has a fully priced price tag, because if it does, I don't know how it's going to compete against X Defiant. Not to mention, even if this game is good, they have to undo four years of bad will from the community, which is like, that's going to be nearly impossible. Like, you have to remember, even Cold War, as much as we all loved it, that game had SBMM. Like, it was unplayable because of it. Which is, like, it's really unfortunate, because I've talked about this before, but I genuinely think that, like, Cold War was probably the best COD we've had in years, but was just ruined by skill-based matchmaking. Like, it was such a fantastically well-made game other than that. And also, David Vonderhaar leaving Treyarch, holy shit. I'm just like, oh, that's not a good sign for the franchise. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Ugh. I don't know. CODs... I, I It's so funny because people often say like, oh, the people who play COD the most want COD to die. I don't want COD to die. I actually love Call of Duty, like, a lot. But I just don't... I'm not happy with the state of it. Like, it's just in such a bad situation that, like... 
And you don't want to be overly negative about it, because it's like, well, I do love the game, but when they're going to make terrible choices and, like, do things that screw over the player base, of course we're not going to be on their side about anything. Like, okay, I can donate that. That's good. And that I can sell. Okay, so we got one thing donate and two things to sell. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Making progress on this thing slowly but surely. I've got 73 of these bone shards, which is nice. Well, bone fragments, but... And that's the geode thing. Yeah, that's the standing geode. I don't want that. It's literally worthless. Okay, um, I think we should go sell off this bone, uh, bone sword to the guild. And then head back into the mines. I'm hoping... Hoping we can beat the RNG and get 100 of these by the end of this, but... Looking like I might have to do one more day. We'll see. If it does come down to that, I think I'll probably just end the video, but... And then we'll do it next time. But I'm hoping that it doesn't come to that. I'm hoping it really doesn't. We'll see. Oh, here we go. Skeleton. Oh, that was some good RNG. That was some really good RNG. Two of them and a bone sword, I'll take that. I mean, bone swords are money, so that's good too. I mean, considering the whole reason we're doing this is for money. Any bit helps. Every and any bit helps. So I'm trying to remember what else we need. We do need to get to the very bottom of the mines because we still got like 20 floors to go or 10 floors to go or something. It's not like just because we hit floor 100 that we're done. There's still more, but... Kind of like... I, I am a little bit against going there. Only because it's just... We we really struggle to get to 100. And I'm really worried that like the things lower than that will be a problem. So... Maybe hold out on that for a little bit. At least till we get everything else we need done. So we still need 23 more bone fragments. I'm trying to figure out if we could get that done in time. You know, we've got like five in-game hours. I mean, I guess if we're willing to go over time and risk it, we could probably get done. Assuming this game ever spawns in good RNG. Doesn't look like it's doing that. There is not a single skeleton on this floor. Fantastic. Okay, go back up. And, uh, yeah, weirdly enough, I mean, I don't know, by the time this is going up, it's going to be like, uh, what, the 24th, 27th, something like that. I don't know. My schedule's been weird, but I, uh, I don't know when x Defiant's coming out, and I'm getting really concerned it's either being delayed or they're doing that stealth marketing shit that kills games instantly, and I don't know why companies keep doing this, because it's like, it's not working. It's, it's not successful. Like, I've seen more games fail from stealth launches than I've seen them succeed at this point, which is like, I don't know. I, I hope... I'm really hoping that COD doesn't get a second win from this, but I'm also hoping... Like, it's such a weird scenario, right, with this new COD game, because if it really is everything they're promising it to be, and it actually ends up being really, really good, I want it to do well, because that shows them that, like, yeah, we prefer our COD games without skill-based matchmaking, traditional three-lane maps, all that stuff, right? 150 health, all the good shit. Like, I want them to succeed with this if it's good, because I want the game to be what Camper Dorfare 1 was, where it redefined the direction of the franchise. Except, unlike with that, this would actually be a good direction to go into. But on the other hand, if it's just like the last two Camper Dorfare games, where it's a buggy, broken mess, I don't really want to do well, and I want X to find to kill the series. So, like, it's a weird scenario. I mean, either way, Activision's getting my money. I mean, I'm going to do a playthrough of the campaign for the channel. I mean, I always was, you know. Like, the, the reason I haven't been doing, like, the Black Ops games yet is, like, I plan to do them after I'm done with the Modern Warfare games, which I should bring up the topic of OG Modern Warfare 3 and when that's happening on the channel. Probably either later this year when, you know, Camper Dorfare 3 comes out and I'll do them both at the same time. Or probably next year in, like, January, February, something like that. I don't know. I plan to do MW3. I really do. And it's been a long, long time since I played it. I don't even remember a lot of the, um, a lot of stuff from that game, to be honest, because it's just been so damn long. Like, it's not one of the campaigns I went back to play recently. 
So, I mean, not to say it's a bad campaign. I actually think it's a very good campaign, but I just haven't replayed it. There's just been other stuff on my mind, and especially since I started YouTube. It, I haven't really talked about this, but I don't really get time to play games on my own anymore. Like, since I started doing Let's Play stuff, it's actually kind of, like, the tragic uh, side effect of Let's Playing is I just don't get to play games anymore that I want to play in my free time, because now it's just, no. Now it's just all about playing everything for the channel, and it's it's both fun and miserable at the same time. It's, it's odd. Um... Like, I've been, I've been wanting to play, like, Fire Emblem 4 again, but I'm like, no, because I'll get around to it on the channel eventually is always the point I come to, and then... Although, speaking of, I might be doing Binding Blade soon. Um, I'm looking into emulation more and more, because it's been a long time since I've emulated stuff, but I don't typically like emulation. I think it's kind of eh, but when companies aren't willing to sell their games in the West, we kind of have no choice, so... Mother 3, cough, cough. That's probably the worst case of Fender. Actually, no, Binding Blade's still the worst case of Fender. Because at least with Mother 3, it's like, well, it's like one game out of a trilogy that we don't have. With, like, the Fire Emblem games, the ones we don't have are really jarring because there's so many that we do. And, like, especially when they do, like, a legacy game, like, uh, Engage, and it's like... Yeah, except you guys are forgetting half these games that you're making a big deal of haven't released over here because you guys just refuse to port them for some reason. I don't know. That bothers me, but... I've talked about my issues with Nintendo's, like, Japan-exclusive policies. I don't like them. I think they're really... I think they're such an old and pointless, like, policy because it's like, you know... The thing you have to remember is, like, I get that when they did these policies originally, like, the, oh, we're gonna just, like only release games in Japan as, like, Japan exclusives because we want to, like, you know, reward that. That was fine enough, I guess, but... Okay, so we got all the bone shards. I think we should just go and... Let me check the timer, actually. Okay, yeah, so let's let's just go and go back home, and then next video we'll get the reward for this and do all of that, our stuff, and... Because I'm just thinking about that. I'm like, yeah, we should probably just... Uh, what do I have to sell? I can sell all three of these. Fantastic. Imagine I accidentally sell the bone fragments. Oh, that would be so terrible. Uh, you know what? I didn't check to see if the yams ray or not. Uh, yam is not ready. Confirmed. Neither is eggplant. Okay, go back. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll go do all that other stuff. But... I think we're gonna go inside, we're gonna call the video. Get my gold real fast. Cat, get the fuck out of my way, cat. I'm gonna kill this cat. I swear to fucking god. This cat gets in my way one more time. It's driving me insane. This cat is actually driving me mental. He just gets in my way on purpose. He knows. Okay, well, you know what? We're done. And next time we're going to do some other stuff, we're going to make more progression, but for now, that's going to be it. I'm tired, I don't want to do any more, and I hope and pray this video recorded right, so we'll see.